Hey, uh, before we get started, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. You won't regret it. You don't have to, no pressure, but I'd appreciate it. Let's get started. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're gonna talk about how to eliminate tangles when fishing a setup that includes, dare I say, two flies and a sink tip. Well, I'm gonna show you a technique to eliminate those tangles. So, you wanna fish these setups too because they're very effective. And please be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm gonna give you a tip that's gonna help you catch more fish. All right, let's go do this. Let's get down on the dock. Wow, what a shock, it's raining. <laughs> Every time, oh well. You know, that's why we're, we live in the evergreen state. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm using my Sage TCR, and this is a five weight four piece. I have got, of course, my Large Arbor Bat and Kill Reel. I've got a Yummy Yellow, and about two feet below that, I've got a Squala Nip. And as you can see here, I have got a sink line that's attached to my floating line. So I've got a lot going on here, and if you don't cast this properly, you're gonna really create some tangles in your line. So let's get out there and do some practicing. So when casting this setup, just like when using an indicator in a couple flies, you want everything to lay out really nicely in front of you. And what I mean by that is that you want your sinking line to be well in front of your floating line, and you want your big fly to be behind your small fly, and your small fly to land nicely at the very end of your cast. So, with this particular setup, you do want to avoid false casting as much as possible, because that really does have a tendency to tangle things up very quickly. So again, when, when fishing this type of setup, you've got a lot to consider. You've got a big woolly bugger, you've got a nymph behind that, and you've got this 12 foot, in this case, sinking line. So there's a lot, there's a lot to cast. When you cast, you want to be very deliberate. And what I mean is, is that you want to pick it up deliberately. On your back cast, you want to stop hard and make sure everything is completely extended out before bringing it forward. And you want to avoid false casting as much as you can. Because the more you false cast, the more chances you have of tangling up your line. So let me demonstrate. So I'm going to do a short cast here. Now watch, watch how the back cast goes here. So I let it all extend back and then throw it forward. All extend back and then throw it forward. And there's a lot of weight on the floating line because that sink tip is very heavy as well as heavy flies. Now once you let a sink tip sit for more than a few seconds, it's well into the water. It's very difficult to bring it up out of the water and perform a cast. So it's better just to fish this particular setup all the way in and then make a cast. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to try to pick it up after it sank for a few seconds. <laughs> it's not, not possible. You can see it makes a mess. You're going to get a tangle. So the best way to handle this type of setup is to fish it all the way in. So fish it in. Get that, get that sinking line all the way to the tip and then you can lift it up and make a cast. Notice how deliberate I am again, lifting up, waiting, throw it back. And what does help on this is to perform a single haul as well. When you pull down on the line and lift up on the rod at the same time. So let me demonstrate here. So instead of false casting, I'm going to lift up, throw it out. Lift up and throw it out. So that is a single haul. And that's really important to be able to do. It helps eliminate that slack line that's created when, after it's sunk down or the wind's taking the line and it starts, to, it starts to create slack in the line. So it's a great way to have an immediate pickup and immediate speed when you're performing the cast. So again, avoid the false cast if you can. So we do a single haul. If you need to move it, do it again, single haul, and throw a little bit more out, get some more line out, single haul, let it extend back, throw it forward. And that is the best way to continue to walk this out, whether you're in a lake or in a river without getting the tangles. So the most important thing to consider when fishing this type of setup is you wanna fish it. 
This gives you double the chance at catching a fish. Don't be afraid that it's gonna get tangled. If you use this specific technique in casting, it won't get tangled. Well, it won't get tangled most of the time. So don't be afraid to use the double setup because it really does increase the odds of you catching fish. So just practice. And this one, you'd really do need to practice when you're out on the lake or on the river to get it down right. But practice and you'll make it perfect and you will catch more fish with this double setup. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in and fish on.